G'day aspiring engineers. This is the 15th out of 16 basic tutorials in part modelling in Fusion 360. If you're thinking about a career in engineering, make a start today by subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. In this video we're going to learn about rectangular patterns, so stick around. what this part looks like and uh, you can download the all 16 part drawings they're in a PDF it's a free download you can click the link in the description below let's get started so turn on the uh, point of origin turn on the little click on the little light bulb there and you can see the uh, the reference planes right click sketch create sketch and let's choose the reference plane on the bottom at the moment Alrighty, I'm going to hit the C key, C for circle, and I'm going to click right on the point of origin. Uh, I'm going to click on that twice and make two circles. Use the D key to get the dimension tool, and uh, let's make the inner one a diameter of 20, as you see there on the uh, drawing, and then the outer one has a diameter of 32. From here, we're going to draw some more, of, uh, more lines of the sketch, so hit the L key for the line tool, and uh, it doesn't really matter where you start here because uh, we can't quite pick up that tangent point just yet. So uh, I want a horizontal line up there, a vertical line across the back here, uh, horizontal again. And then if you mouse carefully over this circle, you'll be able to see that you can pick up that tangent point, click while it's visible, and you've given it a geometric constraint so that the circle on the outside is tangential to the line that we've just drawn. We've closed the loop and so that the part's coloured in and uh, the profile is ready to extrude but we're not quite there yet. So hit, this, hit the S key for the uh, shortcut menu, get the select tool. I want to get that uh, first line that we drew and shift click the outer circle and make that one tangential. I want the D key now, hit D for uh, dimension and then this little line up here needs to be 40. The uh, overall height of the part needs to be 60. Hit the S key, get the select tool, select the line at the top and the line at the bottom holding the shift key, make those equal. Now I want another line, use the L key to get the line tool. From the origin of the whole document I want a horizontal line going out the side here and uh, Select that line we just drew and make that a construction line. There's the construction constraint in the sketch palette. Uh, we need to put a dimension between that and the end of the part and that will be half of 60. Then we need to have a dimension from the end of the part to the point of origin again and that one is uh, 88. So our sketch is uh, pretty right now. We've got this one equal to that one there. And it's uh, tangential to the, uh, the circular features that we've just drawn in there. So hit the E key to drop out of the sketch and go to uh, extrude. Click uh, this face of the, uh, the sketch, that part of the profile. And uh, we want this one to go down, not up. So I'm going to use the minus in the uh, focused field here. A thickness here of minus 10. And uh, there we are. Now, you notice that I didn't pick up the whole sketch, I'm going to do that next. Uh, let's turn that sketch on. Open up the, uh, the sketches and then it, the sketch that's just been consumed with that feature is uh, turned off by default. Let's hit the light bulb to turn it on again, we can see it now. Hit the E key again and then choose the uh, inner circle there. We've got that annulus ready to extrude. Uh, now we're going to give this one a, uh, a distance and in the up direction here you can see from the drawing that that's uh, a distance of 40. Now we want to give this uh, not one side but two sides and in this case not symmetric. And the, uh, the one that's going down is side 2 in the dialog box put in 20 and you can see what we're doing with this particular extrude. The operation is a join, click OK. The next thing to do is create another sketch on this bottom face. So right click, sketch, create sketch. Click on that bottom of the part, draw a alpha line. Notice that it's not easy to pick up the perpendicular constraint, so make it purposely off perpendicular. Then uh, use the S key with the select tool 
pick up that line and hit the vertical constraint D key to get the dimension tool and we want to measure from the end of the part to the line we just drew and this dimension is 10 hit the E key to drop out of the sketch choose that uh, profile that we've just created and we'll give this a distance of it's 20 now we need another sketch sketch, create sketch now this one is going to be on this edge of the part and uh, we need the R for rectangle and I'm going to draw a two point rectangle down here uh, hit the D key for the dimension tool, I'm going to make this a particular size and uh, it's 16 16 across its depth is 3 and there's a distance between the end of the part and the rectangle and that's 15 Hit the E key to extrude this one. There's the profile. Notice that we've got it uh, going in the wrong direction, so I'm just going to drag it into the part and change the extent to all. This is a cut and it's ready to go. Now let's put a few holes in this part. Uh, what we're going to do is make a sketch. Sketch, create sketch. And the face that I want to choose is in there. Actually, what we can do is turn off sketch one now. Uh, that makes it easier. Hit C for the circle tool. I'm going to put a circle here. Purposely off center. D for di dimension. The distance between the center of the circle and the edge of the trench is half of 16, which is 8. Distance from the center of the circle to the edge of the part is 10. And the diameter of the circle itself is 10 millimeters. There are five of these at 10 millimeter diameter. So we drop out of the uh, the sketch, choose that uh, choose that little hole feature that we've just created, and uh, it's going to go down. So it's minus and it's seven here. Now I could have drawn all three at once, but what I want to do is show you how to use the the pattern feature. Right click, and on the create menu, we can find uh, pattern down here and there are several different kinds of pattern. Circular pattern will do next in part number 16 but let's do a rectangular pattern now. Notice that there's a number of different ways of doing a pattern. We can do faces or bodies or features or components. So it's features that we're going to be using here and for the objects we're going to select, pick it in the, uh, the feature tree at the bottom. That's got it selected. Now, as far as directions, we click on the little select button to turn that blue and the direction is one of these lines, any one of those lines which are going in the uh, east-west direction will do fine. And uh, the quantity of these is three, so we've got that ready to go. And the distance for these three is, uh, uh, let's see, it's 20 as we can see on our drawing, but you need to see what happens here. It's not quite far enough. So it's 20 between instances, so we need a total of 40 for the three holes. And you can see the shadow very faintly there. If we click OK, then we can see that the, the three hole pattern is done. Let's do another one of these, and we'll, so we'll right click, sketch, create sketch, and there's the back of the part. Um, I'm going to use the C key for the circle and just put one here, and uh, D for dimension from the center of the circle to the bottom of the part uh, you can see that this is 10 and from the center of the circle to the side of the part the distance is 15 the actual diameter of the circle is again 10 and hit the E key to drop out of sketch choose the circle uh, let's give this a minus 10 and there's our uh, there's the feature completed. Let's do another one of those uh, patterns, a rectangular pattern, just to get some practice in doing this. So there's pattern, rectangular pattern. It's a feature pattern. The object is this one that we've just made. I've selected in the features along the bottom of the screen. Uh, the direction, we need a line that's going east-west on the part. And you see that that's headed in the right direction now. Uh, we need two instances, not three, and the distance between them is, uh, let's have a look at the drawing, it's 30 between them. Uh, and 
choose the uh, OK and that's it. So there's our part and uh, all we have to do now is if you like you can turn off the uh, point of origin to hide those reference planes and uh, that's that one. Keep an eye out for the next one. See you later.